Um, so, this is the sheriff. I don't know, sure, I said sheriff, but it's wrong. It says police on it. Um, so there's, I believe, two of them, and they, uh, I don't know if they're both police. I don't, you see them when I see, I guess. I just saw them pull in. Um, like I said, this is just to provide documentation of everything. You know, we're constantly told, like, what happened, and it's like, dude, all you have to do is watch the video. Why would you even ask me what that's Captain Schrader that just went inside? I'll watch where I'm pointing the camera now. ADD the biatch. <laughs> He went inside. Now, she's going to allow him to look around, and we know we don't have to, but she's going to let him. Like, okay, so if there's... Like, at least let's get all the questions about the fitness. I mean, if the fitness wasn't established on the video where, you know, we definitely... Um, well, the cop's terrified that there's another officer over here. Walking. Um, you know, the... The cops terrified us, man, and, um, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> this is, it's like, uh, there was video then, you know, of the house, and the kids were in pajamas, I mean, this is insane, that they're, and that was during their welfare check, their welfare was fine prior to that knock by Sheriff Bissell, um, and now she's requested something be done, I mean, she did call the sheriff, um, we have that, she called we went out to Gamey County where we were told by Matt in their um, child support office that she should write something down for an emergency order. So she did. We hand delivered it. And that's when we were met with that. I mean, the video is titled Reporting a Kidnapping in Out of Gamey County. I mean, the, and nobody's trying to take Alex's kids from him. If, you know what I mean? Nobody is trying to do that. She's trying to take her kid from her. He's trying to take, I'm assuming, right? If their kids from her. So, I mean, like, this is very ugly. There's no part of this, like, that either one of us feel good about. Nobody should feel good about this right now. This is not a way to go. This is not awesome. This is not cool. Like, like there's two cops in there. She's afraid of police. If it was not Captain Trader, man, I would, and even still, you know, I'm just very, I don't know who the other guy is. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I would very much like her to have her back covered with a camera right now, you know? I know she is videoing, but, uh, it's not, you know, it's not. Uh, live or nothing like that. Like, I mean, you know, we kind of have to document. You can't go as far as we did with documenting, documenting, documenting. Like, everything I say, there's a video for it, you know? It's not for popularity. It's really not. This is a fucking nightmare, man. It hasn't even been a month since the first thing. Walking on the side of the road, dude, and then uh, told to leave. It won't be a problem. And then after that, all these things happen. Every single video is from after that moment. That moment or after it. <laughs> it's surreal. So the cops are here who just ran in. And like shit like that will make me want to jump out of the car. Like I'm not supposed to be on the property so I don't. But yeah, office is Captain Trader from Clintonville Police Department and another officer, I don't know who, are in there right now. Hopefully satisfying all their fitness curiosities. Devin does realize she doesn't have to let them but it's not really a pissing match right now. She Um, thank you, Big Daddy News. I just saw that up there. Appreciate it. Like, I don't, who is that? See, like, shit like that. Like, man, 
that dude don't have to identify himself to me, that had nothing to do with me, but it makes me nervous, it does, like, running towards her makes me nervous, like, I, I, man, I'm gonna have to work on that shit, for real, oh, shit, I'm sorry, I'm freezing, I started spacing out, so, um, after this, we're anticipating that, uh, Gabriel will be promptly dropped off here because, like I said, all this crap is unfounded. You know, we just got told today, just now, that, hey, can we come by and make sure everything's cool? And it's like, meet you there, not let me get there first, not meet you there. Like, she does not want to fight or argue. It's not about... Honestly, at this point, people are really concerned about the environment. I hope the living environment of any of the children, I really hope that stops being questioned soon. And it won't by the people who just want to be mean. I realize that. You know, but to everybody else who actually requires a shed of proof to mean anything then uh, you know but so I'm waiting on them to leave and then I, I mean I can't go on the property this is the apartment this is a what is it called Valley Crest Apartments in Clintonville 715-823-5443 that's their phone number um, the manager she gets mail here, too, at 151 Morning Glory Drive. Who CMS Management runs it. Lynette Richards is uh, the manager. And after the sexual assault that we, you know, reported, a lot of stuff happened. You know, even with the police, even though it was not police contact, it was not, I mean, the, it, there's no fines, no nothing. We have done nothing wrong last i heard from law enforcement there were no issues as far as our legal standing so what i'm saying is this is absolutely ridiculous they kicked me off the property and said that it was because of police contact on the property they said police contact on the property like when when did the police contact me on the property? Ever. We don't answer the door. And we have that right, man. I don't care what anybody tells you. You do not have to answer your door for anybody that you don't want in your home. You do not. You can talk to them through the door. If there's any questions, you know, paperwork could be slid under if it needs to be. There's no reason for a face-to-face, -face, you know. If you don't want to visit somebody and... and you know, we are reluctant to just, we do not just open the door, we don't, and, and, you know, that's fair, given everything, but, um, yeah, basically, this feels, I'm not gonna say, like, Captain Trader forced us, like, I don't, it, it really seemed like the mess, least messy, fa fastest way was to just let somebody in. It seems an awful long time if you're just establishing a fit environment. I'm a little concerned about the length of this visit. Like what? Because there is, like, I mean, it's an apartment. So if you establish, I mean, you'd establish that the, you know, the, the bedrooms are nice. I mean, nice, I'm God. Two kids, how do you, they're clean, they're, you know, I don't know, here I am trying to defend shit that didn't even, you know, it's stupid that it was ever called into question. Absolutely ridiculous that it was ever called into question. It's only called into question after the, when I talked to the police chief on December 3rd, <laughs> he said, uh, all right, on the 18th, it was 11.45 p.m., so the 18th going into the 19th. Is when we were sexually assaulted. Then on the 20th, welfare check. 
on the 26th welfare check and that's the one where we were absolutely terrified this woman beat on the door like she was a, about to rob and did not say police she knew that she was coming there for children like knew there were kids there said she heard us through the door but felt the need to kick the door so hard that we fled from it I didn't record right away. I'm not always recording myself. I have recording from when I turned on my phone and recorded it. I mean, and the other knocks that you hear about 17 minutes into that video are the same exact knocks that you heard before the cops drove off that was another terrifying thing the cops drove off and we continued to hear banging on the door so yeah scary terrifying and um anyway here we are and we're about to <laughs> all part of this man it's all part of it like the only reason anything's called into question is because of what happened to us and i don't care what anybody says she's the driver that's her spot right here same spot she was sitting when they did that shit to us by pulling us out of the car you are not subject to my rules i can tell you that so if you give me a ride downtown no that does not give the cops the right to pull you out of the vehicle search you hold you for a dog it's I, if you don't know, look into it, because, man. And under no circumstance, I mean, it wasn't even supposed to happen to me. There is no, well, you were driving funny, or, I mean, because, after all, she was the driver. So even if I was looking funny, which that my sobriety wasn't called into question. Said the dog hit. But we're paying for all this shit that happened. And it's right now. Like, what are they still in there? Like, why is my heart in my throat? Knowing there's nothing wrong in there. But my girlfriend's in there with two police. Even one who is never. And I, man, for everybody who wants to talk about my past let me tell you about my past with Schrader who's a captain now he was the liaison officer for my school he arrested the holy shit out of me on multiple multiple occasions I told you I was a bad kid but I'm a good man believe it or not he was always professional I won't I man even the way he handled the phone call took the information looked into it handled what what the hell can I say about that like I don't know man I ain't trying to like toot nobody's horn or anything but I'm just saying there is a sharp contrast like why I'm even just nervous instead of terrified like I'm gonna call her man I cannot not call her there's no way I hope this doesn't like stop I'm sorry but I gotta call She's okay. I think we just. Um... Okay, Devin's watching, I see. <laughs>